going to spend a few minutes on double plays. It doesn't really matter if it's a shortstop or the second base covering the second base, but the player needs to get there on time and not take their time trying to time the throw. It's get there in a hurry so you're set up. Let me start with a play from a shortstop or third base, the left side of the diamond to the second baseman. He's going to approach the ball and the bag, step with the left foot on the bag. From this position, we catch the ball. We're going to, as we're approaching, we're going to show where we want it. We want the glove on our throwing side. So all we have to do is catch it. We're going to step back, push away, and notice I'm opening up my hips, my lead foot toward my target. There's a reason I want to do that, basically two reasons. One, for good throwing technique, and the other, for prevention of injury. If I try to release the ball in this position, use a sidearm throw, or even try to come over the top, not be a strong, will not be a strong throw. Plus, what happens is I've left this leg vulnerable to an injury, the runner coming in and hitting it. So it's very important as you practice this, it's here, it's back, and really turn this hip to first base. So as you're turning that hip, here you go. Toe points, knee points. Regardless of which double play you're using, make sure you end up in this position. So very quickly, the double play on this side, you've got plenty of time, you can get there, you receive the ball, you push back, you turn, and you get rid of it. So you're ready to go, set up, you have a return throw. Here, get rid of it. Once more, left foot behind you with the right foot, you're moving slightly toward first base. We always want to move toward our target on our throw. Then you bring this hip around and get rid of it. And then follow your throw. A second one that you can use, if you don't have, you can't get there in time, you're coming across the bag. You simply step across the bag, your right foot, you hit, and then as you go across, you step with your left. The right foot and step across. The advantage to the first one is it's a little more accurate, there's less timing. Here you've got to time it, come across, pivot, the same thing, and come across your body. So basically that's two methods of using a double play from the second base position. There are others that are going to be combinations when a throw is off target. The throw is way over here, you're here, you can come back and get it and still make your throw and come across and make your throw across here. It's much more difficult. So the idea is to get there so you don't have to go different directions, stop your momentum. Once more, back, through, over the top. Across, same thing, you know, the inside of the diamond. Both times you kind of take yourself out of the line of the first base, the runner coming from first base. Now, from the other side, second base, covering, shortstop, going to approach the bag. Uh, normally, you're playing probably a little bit deeper, so you're going to be approaching more from the center field side. So you simply plant the right foot here, step with your left foot toward right field. As you're doing that, you're turning, you can drag, and then you can come on over the top and throw. So the timing is basically you're going to step, you're going to step here, drag, and get rid of it. Again, step, step, as you're stepping here, get this foot turned, get these hips turned. The further you approach from here, rounding it, the easier this turn will be. Step, step, get rid of it. The other one is if you're playing in tight and you can't get around the back side of it, then you want to hit the inside of the bag. All you have to do on this one is hit the inside of the bag with your left foot, step with your right, Again, ankle is now pointed toward our target, and then this foot will actually go toward first base. So what you basically do, you come hit this side, get to the inside, and get rid of it very quickly. It takes more timing. So again, if you can get there, show the target to your teammates early enough and where you want it, double play is not that difficult to make. 